Hey gang, it's Ron from ICMasterKey.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So this video, I'm going to need you to take your feelings, put them in a bright shiny box, put them in there, lock it, put it in another room, and then come back and watch this video. I'll give you a couple seconds to do that. Alright, time's up. So, good news is, you're not too old for tech. Bad news is, you might be too weak. So you say, weak, what do you mean? I don't gotta lift nothing heavy. I ain't gotta do nothing, really. You know, nothing physical. But you got to do a lot of mental and mindset stuff, right? I literally, on a daily basis, get DMs, emails, comments on YouTube videos, about am I too old for tech? I'm 35, am I too old for tech? I'm 45, am I too old for tech? I'm 55, am I too old for tech? Now, that is a telling question, right? That tells me that you already got a you know, defeatist mindset, meaning that no matter what's going on, all you're looking for is for somebody to give you comfort and tell you, yeah, man, your ass is too old for tech. You might as well hang it up. You might as well, you know, it's a wrap. It's over with. When that's not true. No matter how old you are, right? You're never too old to pivot. You're never too old to learn something new. But your problem is being weak. There's no other way to describe it. It ain't no pretty way to package it, right? You simply can't sit down without distractions focus and learn something new, right? Um, I run into a lot of men um, on my coaching calls that are basically expecting for a magic pill or a shortcut or a easy way to get to where I am, to get to where other people are, just to get into tech. What is the easy way to get into tech? If that's what you're looking for, I don't have the solution, right? Because it wasn't easy for me to get into tech, right? Had to go through so many different things, fail so many different times to get to where I am. And so many of you are looking for somebody just to pat you on the back and tell you that everything's going to be okay. Just keep on stacking the boxes. Keep on driving Uber. Keep on working in that warehouse. Keep on doing a job that you absolutely hate because that's what people tell you to do. And so many of you think that you have a good job newsflash if you are barely surviving right you do not have a good job if you can get replaced by another person within a day or two you do not have a good job if you are under threat or maybe can get replaced by a machine or some software you do not have a good job right if you have a job to where you're just doing repetitive stuff you didn't really have to learn anything or you didn't have to continue to learn. That's one of the most dangerous things. If you have a job that you learned it and shit within a month, you was proficient at it or you was really good at it and you didn't have to continue to learn, that is dangerous, right? You gotta think about right now and the future. I'm telling you, right? This isn't doom and gloom. It's happening right now. It's gonna continue to happen. Innovation. If you have a repetitive task, right? Most likely your job will not exist in the next 10 or 15 years. Good news is new opportunities and new jobs will be presented and be created due to other jobs going away, right? How do you do this? How do you figure this out? How do you manage? You got to just start, man. You got to just start. You got to stop waiting around. You also have to sacrifice. That's one of the weak things, right? And that means time. That means money. That means a lot of your hobbies and your activities, you got to sacrifice that stuff to get to where you want to get to, right? Now, a lot of you guys are, you know, on the fence. Should I get into tech? This is the craziest thing. So they're super cheap. I don't know if they work or not. From what I've seen, you know, a lot of people still fail, but at least these people are trying, right? There's a lot of practice tests and $10 courses and this type of stuff. There's people that'll come in and say, is this worth it? $10? You don't have ten dollars for example the community that we've built and i've continued to build um, on this channel right the barrier to entry to our community is only three bucks now if you want you know more access blah blah you have to go a little bit deeper in your pockets but if somebody's deliberating uh three dollars three dollars a month how can i 
what if I, mm, something's wrong, man, something's wrong. A lot of times it's not even the price of the services, price of the training, price of whatever you're looking at. A lot of times it's lack of belief within yourself, right? Uh, why would I be able to get into tech? Why would I be able to have a career uh, making six figures? Why would I be able to get certified? Why would I be able to work in cybersecurity? Why would I be able to be on the cutting edge of automation or artificial intelligence? You're thinking about it the wrong way. Why not you, right? So super duper fast backstory. I'm from Detroit, the west side of Detroit to be specific. Grew up in you know a pretty rough neighborhood. I was in the military, I done done a bunch of different jobs, so on and so forth. Long story short, not special. Not just, oh, you just was blessed with all of these different things, right? Now, I believe that um, a higher power gives us all the ability and the potential to be great, but it's up to you to actually become great, right? Nothing is gonna be given to you. Nothing is given to me. Another thing that you guys are weak as f at is consistency most of you guys are not consistent you'll pick up an a plus uh, book right read a couple pages a couple months later come back read two or three pages a couple months later come back two or three months later but in your mind you've been studying you'll you'll post something like been studying for eight months boy that's not true that's not true and like i always said my guys and my girls they're certified in a plus in 30 days eight months i have no what are you doing how does it take that long it shouldn't take that long right and if you were consistent, you would have been a lot further along. This channel here, I've consistently uploaded at least one to three videos a week for five years straight. Never missed, never miss. At one point I was actually uploading a video a day, right? The reason that you've seen me before, or the reason that you've seen me today for the first time is because of consistency, right? You can never take any days off. Jordan, Kobe, all the greats, LeBron, right? They don't take days off. They're not taking days off, right? Oh, I don't want all these championships. I'm the GOAT. I'm top three. I'm top two. No big deal. They still have to work at their craft. They still got to get better every day, right? You should be reading. You should be researching. You should be seeing what is on the horizon. What's coming up next? What should I be looking out for? What skills should I have, right? Why are you just waiting around aimlessly for, for life to happen to you instead of making it happen, right? Do you have goals for tomorrow, goals for next month, goals for next year, 10 year goals, stuff to do before you die, or are you just rocking out every day, go to work, come home, play the game, go to work, come home, hang out with the kids for 20 minutes, then watch the game. What are you doing, right? What are you doing that's going to get you further along in life? And once again, like I said, if you are um, looking at things in a way of am I too old you're looking at things the wrong way right and what just happened a few seconds ago is another thing that you guys need to be aware of is distractions right so I'm trying to impute um, some knowledge some guidance to you guys and my phone is ringing right nearly almost every time I try to make content get on a coaching call anything something happens to distract me right but you have to stay locked in. You have to either, okay, there's a distraction, let me get back, or not even look at the distraction at all, right? So if you really wanna win, you need to just lock in. Stop asking questions and start executing. We're already, what is this? I don't wanna, cause you know, I make these videos in the past to post them in the future. So we're a couple months in 2023. I know that shit sounds crazy, but we're a couple months into 2023 and you have to, have to stop asking those type of defeating questions, right? Am I too old? No, but you may be too weak, right? And how do you get stronger from what I just said? Stop making excuses. Um, stop waiting for somebody to give you permission to win. Stop waiting for somebody to come get you certified. Stop waiting for somebody just to come get you a job. Stop waiting, stop waiting, stop waiting, stop waiting, stop waiting. You need to be executing and be deliberate with your time every day, right? What did you do yesterday? What did you do a couple days before that? What did you do a month ago? I know exactly what I did. Not because I have a great memory, because I can look on my calendar 30 days ago and say, I did this, 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 and this. 
this video is on my to-do list so I'm doing this video right now technology is where we need to be gang okay it may not even be what you're passionate about it may not even be what you like but if you want to have some money have flexibility and have something that literally no matter where the hell you go anywhere on earth you'll be able to get a job this is where you need to be right and this video isn't meant to motivate you it's really not right because if you've seen me more than two or three times and you're either not a channel member or you're not in the zero to it euro program or you just haven't taken any steps it's just you know you might as well unsubscribe and stop watching because the truth doesn't change i've been saying the same thing for years right and another thing which i tell all my guys and my girls accessibility right having access to people like me other people that are um, rocking out and doing great things in tech other people that actually want to help you is priceless really you know when i was rocking out when i was trying to figure out getting into tech myself i didn't have access to a bunch of people i couldn't just dm somebody i couldn't just email somebody and they actually respond they actually say something or leave a comment on a video actually uh while i'm here make sure that um if you haven't you know joined the channel or done any of that only thing the price of admission for this video is a like and to subscribe if you haven't done so and if it's valuable share it with you know one or two of your buddies so if you want to make yourself proud right not necessarily focusing on anybody else do what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it if you said you're going to get into tech work towards that if you said you're going to get certified work towards that if you said you're going to lose weight work towards that if you said you was going to make some money work towards that right you need to stop putting your attention towards anything that is not catering towards your goal anything that's not moving you closer to the finish line right and if you want to do that i would say that you need to take heed to the things that i pointed out in this video and be honest with yourself are you weak are you if you are that's fine right as long as you're working towards not being weak right at some points in my life i was weak as well right but i didn't continue to remain weak Strengthen my mind, strengthen my body, strengthen my skills, strengthen whatever I had to do. Just trying to get a little bit better every day. That's another thing is that you got to have patience, right? You're not going to just remarkably wake up and you're going to be making $200,000 a year. You're going to have a, a Lamborghini and everybody's going to know your name. You know, whatever your goals are, they take time. You just got to consistently chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away every day. And I'm not bullshitting. Uh, stuff that I did five years ago on this channel is still reaping rewards today, right? Stuff that I created a long time ago, things that I literally forgot about making, right? Videos and content or boot camps that I hosted, things that I literally forgot about doing are still reaping a benefit and also pushing back out and giving other people value and giving them benefits as well. That's another thing, gang, right? If you're in tech, you're inherently going to be helping other people right so that uh, reciprocity that energy is going to always return to you because guess what everybody does everybody uses the internet guess what everything is connected to the internet and if you're in tech you're going to be dealing with the internet whether it's setting up a network maintaining a network securing a network having applications that are on a network so on and so forth you see where i'm going with this you're going to have an intimate relationship with the internet moving forward right whether it's the way that the internet is now if web 3.0 really takes off however it is you're going to always have a relationship now uh, this is one thing i will say though and this is a warning right the question now is am i too old for tech right i think pretty soon what's going to happen is tech may be become too complex for you guys right things are coming at a rate that are that's really hard to keep up with right not to be an expert but just to be halfway proficient with some of this stuff it's kind of hard right and if you don't even have at least the basics now hmm, i don't know in the future it, it may be rough for you right so what i would advise you do is right now right now start working on yourself start working on your skills um, as soon as this video goes off make sure that um, you take heed of the things not even take heed start executing on the things that I mentioned in this 
video. Now, right after this video, there's another video that you probably need to watch that'll help you actually land um, an IT role uh, that I think will be beneficial for you. When you're on Netflix, you need to be watching documentaries or stuff that's going to help you advance um, your skill set. When you're on YouTube, you need to be watching uh, channels like this one that's going to actually inform you, educate you, motivate you, give you some inspiration, give you the tools that you need to become better, right? Because if not, the entertainment stuff is not going to get you no money. The entertainment stuff is not going to allow you to progress. The entertainment stuff is not going to answer the question if, are you too old, right? You're too old for that shit. You're too old to be watching YouTube about uh, people fighting each other or uh, men versus women or the top 10 fight videos. You're too old for that shit, right? Especially if you are in a low paying job, especially if you are having a hard time covering your bills, especially if you got children, especially if you got things that you want to do and simply can't financially, right? So I would decide to take the first step to get into tech right now. If you want me to help, I'll be glad to do so. Link in the description. Other than that, I'll see you in class.